Severe MMA, here we are at Bellator London, we're alongside Franz Malambo. And what a hell of a fight to start a Bellator card, having, yes. having you on there with Grayson. Yeah. Grappling heavy in the first round, were you surprised he's got six knockouts? You know what, like this thing, like coming into this, I just knew he was a striker. And that's what, I was, uh, that's what uh, uh, everybody was telling me they are expecting him to do, right? But what usually happens with me, like... Um, People always go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike with Franz Malambo, and then they get the first few shots, and they always turn into wrestlers. Like I, I expect that every time, and I've been working a lot on my ground game, so I knew if it went to the ground or he tried to shoot in, I've been practicing a lot on that, and especially with the submission I got him. Everybody's always trying to take him down, so I'm working on stopping that happening. You know what I mean? People need to get out of the mindset that I'm just a striker. I'm developing in my, in my, in my MMA skills, my ground skills, everything. So uh, people have a lot to look out for. End of the first, you had a flurry, probably st took the round, but w mm -hmm. were you worried at all that the first round, because it was grappling heavy and he had the guillotine, were you worried perhaps the first round hadn't gone your way? No, I was pretty chill, but I actually had to ask, uh, I asked, I had to ask my coach, I was like, did I get that? He was like, yeah, no doubt, because I got the strikes and everything. Uh, the bit of grappling that did happen in the first round was kind of, it was kind of still, you know what I mean? Not much was happening. He had his arm around me, but not, not much was happening. Like, I was still getting a few strikes going, um, like disrupting him from the position he was, he had on me. So uh, I was pretty confident by the end that I might have just edged it out a bit. In pro wrestling vernacular, this fight is the curtain jerker, the fight that sets the tone for yeah, yeah. the rest of the evening. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel you did you set the tone for the rest of us? When I found out it was going to be the first fight, that was always the idea that I had. Like you know what I mean? I had to if I'm starting first, the crowd isn't really that big there, might as well get something going, you know what I mean? <laughs> And what, what's next? You know, you, you haven't got a scratch on, you yeah. look fresh as a daisy. Yeah. Uh, how quick? Dublin, perhaps? Dublin, 100%. Like, I'd be very, very surprised if uh, I don't get on Dublin. But I'm actually pushing to get Dublin, whatever. And then I'm pushing to get another one uh, finished with three fights by the end of the year. Because I haven't fought till, till December, since December. And uh, when I'm not active, I don't feel like a performer is good, you know what I mean? So uh, I, even my performance today could have been better. Like I was a bit stiller. I was a bit holding back and stuff like that. But if I was in my rhythm, if I had a f like one or two fights since December, it would have been more of an active fight. It would have been a better fight. You, know, you say a better fight, but you can't do much better than a second round submission over a game and dangerous opponent. Yeah. Friends, before I let you go, anyone you want to thank, anyone you want to shout out? Hey, you know what? Like first and foremost, my girlfriend. I met my girlfriend like 10 years and she's literally carried me through my whole career. That's the you know what I'm saying? She is unbelievable. She's been through me with through a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? I put her through some stuff and she stuck by me. None of this would be possible without her. I'd like to obviously thank uh, my coach, John Kamna, everybody at SBG, all the guys that I train with. Got a lot of information. My, I'm getting better as a, as a fighter through these guys. And uh, as you know, I'm a Christian and above everything, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Every day. Friends, it is always a pleasure. It's been too long. Thank you so much. And thank you. Can't wait to see you do it, it again. It's a pleasure seeing you again. Thank you, sir. All right.